We want to check in on the phone with Christine Milligan. She is a spokesperson uh, for National Grid. Christine, thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Your crews must have been working for what feels like nonstop over the last <laughs> 10 days here. It feels like nonstop for all of us, doesn't it? Yeah, our crews are working really hard, um, but I have to say they know the work that they do is very important. They're very motivated by that, and um, it's very rewarding for them to do the work that they do. So they're hanging in there. We're all hanging in there. Christine, you know, a lot of people look at the last couple storms. It was just pretty much devastating in a lot of widespread parts of the state, especially up in Essex County and parts of Middlesex County. Today we're talking South Shore. Um, how do you guys, you know, position your crews and figure out where the best places to respond uh, will be? Yeah, well, we follow the forecast and we position our crews um, around the state, or, you know, in, in, our, in our territories, obviously, uh, to get to our customers, you know, as soon as they can during outages. Right now, we're, like you said, we're especially focused on uh, southeast of Boston, and also um, we serve uh, Rhode Island as well, so in the Providence Corridor. And how many uh, power outages are you guys dealing with right now with National Grid? Uh, just about a little over 25,000 right now. Christine, how long do you expect crews to be working, I'm sure, overnight into tomorrow, but do you think this is going to be a, a multi-day event for you guys? Right now, we're on track um, to not be as severe as the past two nor'easters. Now, we all know that weather can change, <laughs> um, so uh, we can't make promises because we can't, we can't predict the weather. But right now, um, the situation uh, seems to be what we've expected it to be, which is not as severe uh, not quite as heavy snow and not, not quite as uh, severe winds as we saw in the first nor'easter of these three. Um, but, you know, we will be working on those outages, you know, as they come. And uh, hopefully we can pretty soon move on from this storm and move on to spring. Hopefully, right? We'll take the winds where we can, Christine. Thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Uh, I know you've got important work to do, so we'll let you get back to it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. All right, so there you have it. Not as bad, kind of what they expected. Um, but, you know, a lot of trees out there have been weakened over the last couple of storms, so just be careful. If you see any of those down power lines, make sure you don't go near them. You call 911. That's what they want you to do, report them right away. Yeah, you always assume that those are live wires.